The fire is on. The fire is on. The fire is burning you right now from head to toe. The fire is burned. The fire is burned. Come out. Come out. We're here to see a, an exorcism. Today, I want to show Shane and Ryan how I go about performing exorcism. When you have a spirit confronting you, it's going to be pure evil. I know the details that happened before and after, but in terms of the actual act of the exorcism itself, I don't really know the details of how to perform it. I've seen The Exorcist. Well, there you go. I know they are ghost hunters. They work more in that field. Just by watching ghost hunting shows on TV, you are opening doors for evil spirits to come into your home and eventually possess you. He started talking about the dangers of opening doors and whatnot. That was a bit of a, a, a kick in the gut for me. For sort us. of a delight for me because I know that, you know, when we first started doing our investigations, you were very reticent to communicate with demons or even antagonize them. And now it's gotten to the point where, you know, you bust out Ouija boards, you call them names. I do not call them names. That's yes, you do. That's a lie. I don't you call them names. Absolutely when do. have I called a demon a name? I hope you're fucking looking at this now, motherfucker. Did you just call the demon a motherfucker? I don't give a shit now, I'm gone. <laughs> God loves you so much that he's sparing your life. You should be dead long gone, my friend. <laughs> Shane and Ryan, they do, as a, I believe they do it because they have passion about doing it, but just like any other ghost hunters out there, you know, they are facing challenges because you don't mess around with the spiritual realm. There's an exorcism that's going to take place now. You guys are my guests and you're going to be part of my team. The first thing that demon sees when it exits this body is going to see these two mugs. Yeah, and, and I'm demon proof. We all know that. You're not demon proof. I'm demon proof, baby. Probably, you know, hey there, demons. It's me, your boy. I fucking hope it possesses you. That'd be the best. That'd be cool. <laughs> It would be cool. So there's no possibility of like a, a demon ricochet scenario where the demon comes out, bounces off the wall, and then into either me or this very tall vessel that right That can here. happen. Originally, I went into this hoping to learn what the, the rite of exorcism is, what it entails, but now I just kind of hope I don't die. Okay, Becky, come over here. Pretty much as long as I can remember, at least starting my very early teens, I have had what are called cluster headaches. So they're kind of clustered headaches that last anywhere from 24 hours to two plus weeks. Okay. I have now had one for today's the eighth day. Oh my God. That's a very good indication that there's a spirit present. When I met Becky, I saw spiritual problems in her. Easy to see. Have you dabbled in the occult? Yes. Okay. Have you ever read horoscope? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Only that, every day. Oh, oh, every day? We got her. Got her. A shocking revelation that Becky looks at horoscopes, which is not great. Every day? Yeah. Every day, Becky? It, it's an app that pops up okay. and lets me know when it's time. I'm just asking you a question here. Granted, I mean, that pales a comparison to what we do. I don't know. Who in the world would think that horoscope can harm somebody? Well, that's the problem. If it's not a prophecy from God, it is divination. Now, divination is a doorway for demonic oppression and even possession. All right. All right. Oh, shit. We started the process and it got intense really quickly. You are liars, aren't you? Feel the heat. Feel the torment right now. Well, the way I perform exorcisms is, is I skip the rite of exorcism. Basically, what I like to do, I like to confront the spirits that are dwelling inside people, and I usually do it making eye contact. Demon, I'm talking to you. Come up here. Come up here. Come up to the surface. Made some very direct eye contact, you know, just very like... During exorcism, guys, you have the right to ask questions. You have the right to command a demon to identify themselves or to come to the surface, right? Come on up. So right oh. now, yeah, right now. <laughs> I had Ryan and Shane, you know, helping me. I was training them. Lay hands here. Okay, you fair. don't, yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Here's fine. Okay, Just go ahead. Right. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see a murder spirit in your womb. Murder. Murder. And hopefully in the near future when they encounter demons, because I'm pretty sure they will encounter demons, they might remember what they did with me and they might use it there in my work. As you guys say, I command you now. I command you now. Come out of my sister. Come, come out, out of my sister. sister. Come out of Becky. Come, come out, out of Becky. Becky. Right now. It was a really almost overwhelming experience. 
Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Get out now. Dislodge from this woman's female organs right now, devils. The impression that I had about Becky is she was not in the game. There's no reason to go any further here, but I believe that she was a little bit resistant and that can hinder any kind of exorcism, any kind of deliverance. The demons hide behind the resistance. Cases like this, demons have the right to stay. Unfortunately, because she was resisting, she was not set free. At least you didn't manifest, and uh, if you feel anything positive later on, let them know, you know? I'd say that's hey, a win. Win. That's a, that sounds like a good Now, who's next? He had some extra time at the end, so, you know, we stepped into the ring. Well, based on what I saw in Ryan and Shane, they both have evil spirits. So that's why I wanted to also, you know, try to help them. Look in my eyes, Dales, I'm talking to you. Shane's was probably my favorite because the second Brother Carlos put his hand on his head, Shane's eyes rolled in the back of his head. I swear it happened. And I'm a little more convinced that Shane might be a demon. You held gaze for the entirety of the session. Well, I wanted him to get a good look. I wanted him to <laughs> really peer into my peepers and see what kind of devils I got. Come out and go to the pit. Come out! Then when I was done, Ryan, you stepped in. Mm -hmm. All right, now it's you. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm surprised you did that. I, right, I did it with reluctance for sure. Hey, Amen. Ryan's was funny because you could just see stressed out Ryan tense up the entire time. Trying to mock me, Devils? Devils, you know me, don't you? Hmm? Oh. You seemed afraid to make eye contact with him. He's a very intense man. Feel the torment right now. Feel fire going out through you, burning you burning you, tormenting you. Also, I didn't know if I was supposed to answer questions or not. You don't belong here, do you? Yes or no? Answer. Oh, is it me? Is that, I, I thought he was talking to the... Oh, I don't know. I'm talking to the demon. Come out now! All right, guys, that's it. With Ryan and Shane, you know, unfortunately, we did not have the time and perhaps the circumstances didn't help. Be honest, be honest, did you feel anything? No, and I thank God, because you know it's a good little base level reading. Overall, was a great experience um, spending time with Shane and Ryan and Becky. We had fun, and I had a good time with them. I wasn't even conscious of where my eyes were looking. They were just uh, they rolled oh, back a little bit. Yeah, they did. Yeah. No, yours did. Yeah. did. I saw I saw the white part of your eyes. Yeah. Am I saying I believe it? No. Am I begrudging people for believing it? No. I think there's a lot of power in, the, in belief. You know, I think that it's great what he does. If there are people who are suffering, and there are, and this is something that helps them relieve it or feel better about themselves or lead a better, healthier life, I fully support it. When I am able to help people spiritually to the point that they are set free, they feel joy, and that brings so much joy to my heart. That's why I still do what I do, and I'm gonna die doing what I do, because I want to help more people. I want to help as many people as I can. I don't know if it's going to change the status of my headaches, but if it doesn't, I still think it was a great experience to know that there is someone out there who cares and is trying to help people. Either way, if you don't believe this, just having a library of knowledge in your head never hurts. I was able to educate them and to help them understand certain things that I believe will help them make wise decisions in the future. But they definitely need a lot of help. Amen. Ooh, Jesus.